Hey guys, it's Kyra and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'll be giving you guys a tutorial on this ombre cut crease. You guys know that I don't do cut creases very often, but I figured I'd go ahead and change it up a little bit. Um, and also just use all matte shadows. So all the colors that I used on my eyes and the bottom lower lash line are all matte, which I think is a fun way to play with some color, um, but still keep it kind of subtle, you know? And I'm loving this look, you guys. I love the gradient effect from like the light tan shade into the outer corner, which is like a really dark plum. And you guys know that I've been loving, loving, loving playing colors lately. And although today isn't too bold, we are playing in some purples and some browns and some tans um, to create this look. So um, I wanna go ahead and jump this tutorial in just a second, but I also wanna note, you guys, that today you guys will see in the video that I did try two of the new Wet n Wild brushes. I have been looking everywhere for these, you guys, and I finally found them in my local grocery store. And both of the brushes were only eight bucks, I believe. But you guys, this is hands down my new favorite contour brush. It's the Wet n Wild. This is actually the Precision Setting Brush. So it's actually made to set your powder and your under eye highlight, but I love this brush for contouring because it's a dome shaped brush so it really really gets into those cheekbones area and also really sets around the forehead nicely as well I just love 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 the shape of it I love the size of it I just love it and then for those of you guys who always ask me about the brush that I always use to contour my nose so I typically use the Sonia Cashew contour brush which looks just like this but I also purchased the Wet n Wild. This is a flat contour brush. And as you can see, it is the exact same thing. It has the exact same shape. It's flat, um, it's wide, it, I mean, it's basically a dupe for it. So I know that this one is discontinued. So if you are looking for a good, easy contour brush, just go ahead and get the Wet n Wild one eight bucks and it works just the same. So I wanted to go ahead and say that and make a note of that um, before I jump into the tutorial. But again, you guys, this look is just, I'm loving it. I'm loving it, I'm loving it. So I'll go ahead and stop rambling and hop into the tutorial. If you guys enjoy it, give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will catch you all in my next video. <laughs> Bye guys. All right, you guys, so first I'm starting off by priming my face using the Becca Evermatte Primer. So I'm gonna apply this all over the T-zone to help control oil. So I'm applying it to my forehead, nose, and my cheek area. And then next up for eyes, I'm gonna prep the eyes using the MAC Lane Low Paint Pot. And let's apply this all over with a small stippling brush. And now it's time for the eyes. So first up, I'm taking the shade Caramelized from Morphe. It is one of their individual eyeshadows. And it's popping that into the crease. This is gonna just be a really soft brown shade to act as our crease shade or a transition shade. And this will also, you know, the long run help us blend out our shadows later on. Um, now I'm taking this dark plum shade, which is a shade Secretive, also from Morphe, and it's popping that into the crease with the Sigma Tapered Blending Brush. And as you can see, I'm just focusing that in the crease and really blending it out in the crease. I would want that purple to really be, you know, be prominent, really stand out, and be very, very vibrant. So this step requires a lot of applying and blending and then applying and blending and then applying and blending. It's all about blending, you guys. And now I'm just going in with a clean brush to blend out those edges. Now I'm taking this dark brown shade, you guys. Now this color is from Morphe. Unfortunately, I do not know the name and I cannot seem to get it out of my palette. So I'm sorry about that. But it's really just a dark brown shade, honestly. And it's popping that in the outer V area. I did want this look to be very, very smoky. So I knew I wanted like a really dark shade in the outer corner to, you know, really smoke it out a little bit. So... I'm just going in now and I'm blending out those harsh edges, make sure that everything is nice and seamless. And again, going with a clean brush to blend out those edges. Now I'm taking just a small definer brush and some concealer and it really just carving out the lid. I did want to do cut crease today. So I'm just taking some thick liquid concealer and just really taking my time to carve it out. All right, and then now I'm taking this light champagne shade. It is the color Silk, also from Morphe, which is just a really pretty matte light cream shade. And it's really packing this onto the inner portion of the lid. I'm not bringing it all the way over because I do want that ombre effect. So I kind of just focused on patting that into the inner corner. And now I'm going with the shade Toasted Hazelnut and applying that to the center of the lid. So it kind of goes from like that light champagne to that kind of like that, you know, orange is brown and now I'm going in with secretive again and applying that on the outer V. So again, it's a light cream shade in the inner corner, which is silk and then toasted hazelnut in the center and then secretive, which is a dark plum on the outer corner. And it's really, really, really packing those on and blending them together with that same brush. 
Okay, and then right here I'm taking just a soft blending brush in that same dark brown shade that I do not know the name of and I am sorry about that, you guys. I'm just blending that into the outer V. Just make sure that everything is nice and seamless and, you know, looks really good. Now I'm taking the makeup wipe and just removing any of the excess fallout and also cleaning up those edges. And now it's time for the face. So for foundation, I'm taking the Maybelline Super Stay Foundation in the shade Toffee Caramel. And it's applying that all over with the Sigma Kabuki brush and it's really packing that in. You guys know that I have been loving this foundation. Look at, just look at the coverage. Just look at the coverage. It is bomb, you guys. And then of course, after I use a brush, I always go with the Beauty Blender and just press it into the skin even more. For concealer, I'm taking the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Golden. And it's applying that's my typical areas that I typically highlight, which is under my eyes, the bridge of my nose, um, chin area, and my forehead. And of course, just going in and blending that out with the Beauty Blender. And one thing I didn't mention earlier, you guys, is that I did go ahead and kind of clean up the line um, right there by the eyeshadow with that concealer also. So as you can see, like right now where the eyeshadow meets the rest of my face, it is a pretty sharp line and that was with the concealer. So that's a really good way to kind of clean up that area and make a really, really nice sharp line. To set those areas, I'm now taking the RCMA No Color Powder and just pressing that into those areas with a beauty blender just to kind of help set and bake those areas to give us a nice, you know, bright effect. Uh, I'm going to set the whole entire face with the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Dark. You guys know that I always love to use this, especially with the full coverage foundation. You definitely want something to kind of tone it down a little bit. And this powder, which is, you know, a skin-like finish, helps to tone it down. Now I'm taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Powder Contour Kit with that Wet n Wild uh, setting brush. And it's really kind of focusing those colors into my cheekbones and also around the forehead to kind of just give me some warmth and some definition. And now going with the contour brush to kind of contour my nose as well. I didn't really go as heavy as I usually do with um, contour and bronzer today. I only just used one shade and I kind of like it. It looks a lot more natural. So I may be sticking to this, you know, method uh, going forward. We'll see. For blush, I'm taking the orange blush by NYX, which is an oldie but a goodie. And then for highlight, I'm taking the Maybelline Masterchrome Highlight. Um, you guys know I have been loving this one also, and it's applying that basically all over. <laughs> Nose, cupid's bow, uh, forehead, and cheekbone, and really just, just apply a lot, basically. You guys know I love to glow. <laughs> now, for the brow bone, I'm taking that same silk shade and supplying that to the highest points of my brow bone. Um, it is pretty bright, so I kind of just tone it down a little bit with my finger, but I love the way that this really, you know, lifts the brow. For the waterline, I'm going to take my, what is this, LA Girl Gel Glide Liner in the shade brown. And of course, apply that to the waterline and then smudge out that liner with the shade Secretive for Morphe. You know, it gives a nice little smoky, smoky, you know, lower lash line. And then I'm going to tight line my upper lash line just with some black liner, nothing special there. But I want to apply the black liner to help kind of blend in the falsies with my natural lashes. For lips, I'm taking my Chestnut Liner by MAC, of course, you guys know I always use this. And then this lip to you guys is so, it's one of my favorites now. It's More Creamer Please by Dose of Colors. It was part of the Desi and Katie collab. Um, and as you can see, it is like the perfect nude. And I just love it. I love like that brownish undertone. It is absolutely gorgeous. Like, I love it. I love it. I love it. For the inner corner, I did apply just like a really shimmery um, pigment in the inner corner. It doesn't really have a name. Um, and then of course went ahead and popped on falsies off camera and also applied mascara as well And then last but not least I'm going to go ahead and set my brows using the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara You guys know that I always do this to just kind of really create a really natural brow look And then of course for lips I wanted to just add a little bit of gloss So I did take the Anastasia Beverly Hills bronze lip gloss that I showed you guys in my last uh, Marshalls haul video and once I did all that, you guys, here is the final look. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye, you guys.